Number one, you must make the word of God the only authority over your lives and relationship. The word of God is the thought, intention, wisdom and counsel of God given to humanity to live a life of peace, joy and harmony on earth. To be able to maintain a godly path with the right partner, the word of God must have or must be given the power to enforce rules or give orders in your lives. You both must accept the word God as your life manual, such that the opinions of God's word are finally on every topic of whatever it says is the final. This is the only way to be on a godly path with the right partner. There are various philosophies of life related to different aspects of a person's life and through which people's lives are coordinated and directed. The tenets of such philosophies determine the quality of life such people live. A. Our person's life depends on which philosophy guides and regulates him or her. A philosophy solely rests on the ideology, characters, value and belief system of the proponents of such philosophy. This is why you must know whose philosophy your life is regulated by and whose value system you have adopted that determines the quality of life you live. As the Bible rightly said, whoever you submit yourself under, you are automatically a slave to that person. Virtually everything about that person affects you too. Romans chapter 6 verse 16 To be in the godly path, other paths are no options. Other paths are not God's path. God has only one path, it is the godly path. Every other path is unity, can serve two masters. You either hate one and like the other, you either be loyal to one and not be loyal to the other. You cannot sit on the fence, you cannot live double standard. This is why both of you must make the word of God the authority over your lives. And it is the pattern for the pathway to walk in. To know the godly path is first to accept the authority of God through his word over your lives. You must make up your mind that the word of God is the only guide and instructor in your relationship and not what is happening on the mass media, internet or in the godless imported and local cultures around you. One thing about ideologies, values and beliefs that are culturally induced is that they are dispensational. They are time and people oriented and very susceptible to change and socially engineered. This is why they are not very reliable and you must not stake your lives on them. Number two, you must study the word of God together. The wisdom of the scriptures is timeless, dateless, boundless and ageless. It is divine. This simply means it is for all times and ages. It is not socially engineered nor culturally propounded it engineered the most stable social values of all times, which is still standing, applicable and effective. In the Paleolithic, Neolithic, Bronze and Iron Age it was relevant. Even in this modern era of computers and artificial intelligence, it is not limited. It's the best manual to set you on the right path with the right partner. Other sources of information on getting and keeping the right partners are not working, they are becoming quickly outdated and irrelevant to people's lives and relationships. There is always a need for constant updates of information because of recent and constant evolutions and dynamics of human behaviors. Human character and behaviors are rapidly changing as much as twice a year. People are now very concerned about how they must adjust to behavioral changes happening all around them. People's emotions are rapidly changing and people can hardly predict themselves. These are results of people trying to adjust to all the changes going on globally. Everything is getting redefined and you cannot assert that this is a standing definition of anything. Before you say Jack Robinson, its definition has changed and people must adjust to this change. For every one of these changes, there are countless explanations postulated to define the changes and how people can and must adjust to them. In all of these, God and His Word remain the same. They are unchanging, unmovable and indestructible. That is God's nature and character. To know this about God and to be able to maintain a godly path with the right partner, you must study the Word of God together since you both accepted its authority over your lives. In it, you will learn the unchanging path and values of God. 
This gives a stable lifestyle and you become defended against the chaos going on around you. Just as the Bible also said on the benefits of paying attention to God's word, it helps a young person to make his or her life hitch free. To maintain a successful lifestyle in whatever endeavor, meditating on what God has done as written the word of God is indispensable. Psalms 119 verse 9 to 11 Joshua chapter 1 verses 8 Number 3. You must prayerfully adopt godly characters. As you study God's word, the nature, characters, judgment, wisdom, opinion and perceptions of God from his word will become real and obvious to you. If these are well done, it will become quite easy for you to know what will be God's reactions in situations. What you are simply learning is the characters of God. As you see this through his word, begin to desire him. Then you pray for the outworking of these characters in you. With time, you will begin to see changes, first in your knowledge and ideologies. They will begin to change and reflect the values, culture and ideologies of God. In doing these, you become deeply attracted to the Word of God. The act of prayer means a person acknowledged the presence of sovereignty of an unseen or supernatural being who could help in one's helplessness. So to pray to God means you acknowledge the superiority of His ways above yours and you are ready to submit to His Lordship. Apart from accepting in your mind, prayer is a strong sign of submission to God. Prayer opens up your heart to God and the wisdom of His words and ways. The characters of God cannot be adopted without the act of prayer. A lot of people wish they are in godly part and they try to take one or two steps in that direction. But then they fail woefully because their hearts are not guided through prayers. In the act of prayer, words, thoughts, instructions from God drops into our hearts, leading us into that godly path that keeps us strong in our relationships with the right partner. Can you imagine what would have happened to Mary when Joseph wanted to break up their engagement because she was pregnant? Because Joseph was a godly man, it was easy for God to convince him to accept Mary as his wife and take responsibility for the baby Jesus. Joseph was a man of prayer and that was why he could easily accept God's word. Number 4. You must seek godly counsel with elders in faith. Seeking godly from those who have gone through this stage you are in is a wise thing to do. These are elders in faith, those who by their lifestyle have a track record of excellent living and walking with God. These could be married couples, those who are well experienced and matured, or it could be some singles who are vast in the wisdom of God. Apostle Paul, though not married, gave counsel on how a young man or a woman can follow the godly path and relationship with the right partner. Also, our Lord Jesus was never married, but there is no greater wisdom for godly path than the one he gave us during his earthly walk and work of salvation for our souls. From human elders, there was lots to learn from their good and bad stories. Those whose stories can serve as a guide, those whose relationships and marriage are. These people can be very close to you or people you admire at a distance. It is great if you have one or two of such that you can easily and always meet for godly counsels as to what to do to be on godly path with the right partner. The Bible says a person's life, relationship, finance or health can be protected from failing when such a person is surrounded and yielded to counsels. There is danger in having a person who does not have Jesus Christ as his Lord as a mentor they are open to all manners of maxims, ideologies and philosophies which most teetotally total against the values of the Holy Scriptures. Most of these people's private lives and relationships are off balance, although they are eloquent talkers, skillful communicators but terrible practitioners of their teachings. The Bible calls those people clouds without water, trees without fruit, motivators who cannot influence their wives, husbands, children and households. The Bible says to run away from such people in Jude chapter 1 verse 12. The way it is practically unreasonable for a farmer to lead an army of soldiers into the war, it's suicidal, is how dangerous it is to be led and have a counsellor of person whose God is not Lord. To be in the godly path with the right partner, the Lord must be able to lead you through his servants and children.